Um, you, you, you tell a lot of dirt. I've been reading. I haven't read the whole thing yet. I've just started it. But I've been reading excerpts because it's been out for a while. You talk about the dirt. Um, well, I shouldn't say dirt. It's been out for a week. Yeah. There's yeah. no dirt. I, I, there that's are why stories. I said, Life experiences. Okay. There are experiences. You're, re- you're revealing stuff that we didn't know, like the tensions between Jermaine Jackson and Michael Jackson. Anything? Is there anything you regret now that the people have read it that have come to you and said, why did you tell that story? Who's been most angry with you yet? Uh, <laughs> so far, no one's been angry. Okay. That could be because no one's read it. Good. Right? <laughs> Which is why I'm here. Right. I want to change that. I yeah. need some anger out there. All right. You know? All right. All right. But you don't, so you haven't had any negative reactions yet? No, not yet. at all. No, no. As a matter of fact, I literally got an email from Jay Z last night saying, "Congratulations, you were very kind." You know, um, I did. T- I can't find his email address anywhere. <laughs> Do you mind? Uh, Jay Z at yahoo.com. Yeah, yeah. Duh. Okay. it's this a Snapchat personal. address. It, uh-huh. it, dis- it disappears in five <laughs> seconds. <laughs> it's like Mission Impossible. Uh, yeah. That is interesting to know some of the backstories behind right. you know discovering the artist, like when Usher's audition when he was just a fourteen-year-old kid yeah. seducing a woman in the in the room. Love and, it. And that Jermaine and that moment. whole tension with him and Michael Jackson. I mean, I was yeah, just really. Those are, those are some good moments. But but those are like, um, like if I'm being honest, if if you don't read it and you just go for like the big name, those are the stories that come up. Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. But it's so much better than that. It right. really is. Like it's so much. Because it really, this the, the book is really about like the peaks and valleys in my life. Mm-hmm. Right. When something goes right, something goes wrong. And then I have to pick myself back up and continue to pick myself back up has been like my life's challenge. Um, and I've never been like depressed down, but the perception is always that I'm hot, now I'm cold. I'm hot, now I'm cold. I'm up, now I'm down, yeah. right? Yeah. And like even at like the heights of, of, of some of my career moments, there were like industry rumors, but he's going to get fired, right? And then you know, I get fired, <laughs> right? And, and have to pick myself back up. So mm-hmm. it's a lot about that. And it's also about like the determination of if you have a vision or if you have a dream, like really going through everything it takes to become what you envision yourself becoming. Yeah, because you said like at seven, I think you just knew. Yeah. That you wanted to do this. What, well, no, uh, you knew yeah. you were going to be rich, but did you know how you were going to No, that's what he said. Well, what I seven, did know right? is that I wouldn't be as rich as I wanted to be. Right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, so you want to be richer? Yeah. That was his vision at <laughs> Who seven. Who does it? What would you say is the lowest point of your career? That where you were just uh, in the dumps and you're like, like I've never been in the dumps. You've never been never. in the dumps. No, no, no. I've, the, I've, I've had. The the lowest points are when when people are when the chatter when the chirpy birds yeah. don't think I can hear them mm-hmm. and you hear them and I can hear them right those are low points because you don't I mean I, I don't know about you but I don't want people to say bad things about me or or sure. or to wish bad upon me why, That's why I, I hate I, Twitter I, LA right you know what I, mean? <laughs> I hate so, Twitter yeah. yeah you have to get off Twitter I had to kill my Google alerts <laughs> 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 right. It's <laughs> just so thirsty. You know. <laughs> do, do you have somebody up your sleeve right now that you've been working on? That's like a oh, the next new oh, the next, like, to watch. You got a teen. I have a girl that that I'm really excited about. That I'm gonna go on record and say she's next. Her name is Zara Larson. Zara Larson. Right. Zara L.A. Larson. Reed says right Zara now. Larson is the next big thing. We'll yeah, bring her something. in. We'll put her on. She's something special. We'll yeah. Bring her, we'll put yeah. her on. 